All right, so in this video, we're discussing setting powders for beginners. So people who wanna learn how to use setting powders, what kind of setting powders to use. And I do have a detailed video on how to set your skin. So if you're a beginner and you want like specific details on how to set your skin, I feel like that video is very helpful. So when it comes to setting powders, there's so many different types of setting powders. And sometimes it gets a little bit confusing because when you read those words, you're just like, I don't know which one I need. So to Today we're specifically discussing loose setting powders so the setting powders that you use to set your concealer so I've already done my skin I've already put on concealer so I'm just getting ready to set but before we get into setting it I'm gonna discuss what type of setting powder is ideal so loose setting powders are just setting powders that are loose okay they're not pressed powders they're not in a pan or anything they're loose on a bottle and they're just powder I have different setting powders for different types of makeup looks and then I have different types of setting powders for how my skin is feeling at that time so a setting powder sets your concealer so once you apply the concealer you don't want to leave the concealer like this because it's going to crease so as you guys can see like my eyelid area where I have those wrinkles, where I have that creasing, the concealer is literally settling on that crease area. It's like sitting there and it's moving. So we want to set the concealer so that it doesn't do this. It doesn't move around on our skin. So concealer conceals, but it can't naturally sit on its own without it being set by a setting powder. So that's why we use setting powder. A setting powder also kind of gives you that blurred, flawless finish when you apply it you practically don't see the concealer it's there it's concealing but you don't really see it it looks natural it looks like your skin because your skin is nice and soft right this looks oily this looks like you can see the makeup on there so setting powder kind of sets it so it allows it to sit on your skin but then it kind of like smoothens it out so it looks nice and natural so I'm gonna give you guys affordable options I usually use more so affordable setting powders just because I have some really good ones but we're also gonna discuss other types of setting powders so the first type of setting powder is is oil absorbing so if you're somebody who has oils on your skin especially on your t-zone area where you apply concealer you definitely want to go in with an oil absorbing setting powder a really good one that I like using is the Anastasia loose setting powder I like this because it has different types of shades for different types of skin so that's one thing that you want to pay attention to when it comes to setting powder is is the setting powder that I'm using matching my skin so ideally a setting powder should be lighter than your skin okay because you're putting it on top of concealer and concealer is lighter than your skin you want the setting powder to match your concealer so you want it to be almost the same shade as the concealer but also your undertone so I like the Anastasia powder because they have a wide range of shades shades for different types of skin they have a translucent one all the way to like a really deep one for like really rich skin tones so I think this one in the shade deep peach is ideal for people who are like close to my skin maybe like a couple shades lighter a couple shades darker so I'm of a yellow undertone and I really like this one because it matches my undertone and this is what it looks like it's more so of like a banana type of color um, I love this types of setting powders because they go really well with like like yellow undertones so if you're somebody who's like ah, that's kind of expensive like I don't know if I want to spend like 40 I think it's like $40 or $30 on a setting powder which I totally understand I've been in your position when I was a beginner in makeup I was like can I get something cheaper you know because I was just getting into it I'm not like about to spend a whole bunch of dollars and not really know how to use a product so I have another affordable option for you that is very similar to the Anastasia one it's actually a dupe but this one I feel like is even better it is a black black opal deluxe finishing setting powder so this one is oil absorbing and on top of that it is the banana shade so this is what it looks like very very similar to the Anastasia setting powder it has that yellow undertone and it's kind of like that banana shade that goes really perfectly if you're of my skin now I do know they discontinued this specific one but they have a new packaging but it's the same formula they also have four shades with that setting powder so if you're somebody who is not my skin type maybe you're lighter or maybe you're darker they have four different shades that you can use for your skin type so the next type of powder that I want to discuss is translucent setting powders it is so important when you're applying makeup to make sure that you don't have a flashback so flashback is like when you apply setting powder on your skin and you take a picture really see the ashiness 
where you apply the setting powder so you want to avoid that when you're applying setting powder i personally feel like translucent setting powders give you a flashback so there's a certain technique that i like to use so that it avoids that flashback so the two types of translucent setting powders that i have is of course the laura mercier i feel like these are like the most popular ones so i have the one in the shade honey and then i have the original translucent one these powders are amazing i don't use the white one just because I feel like I can't use it on my skin. It gives me a flashback and it looks horrible. But I do like this shade Honey right here. It is also really, really light. So it's more so lighter than my skin. So a little bit goes a long way with this one. The reason why I like this one better than the original one is because this one is closer to my undertone, has that yellow tone. And this one doesn't give me much of a flashback if I apply a little bit. So I would definitely say if you're my skin, this one is perfect. The next ones are just regular loose setting powders. I found that these are really really good so these are the Maybelline loose finishing setting powders I love these because they have so many different shades but the ones that I usually use is medium deep 30 and dark 40 these two are ideal for my skin so if I'm looking to set my foundation and not my concealer I go in with this color and I also use this underneath my foundation but all right so those are all the setting powders that I would recommend as a beginner and that I really really love so I'm gonna get right into applying the setting powder all right so when you're applying setting powder you want to make sure that your concealer is not creasing so what you want to do is you want to use the sponge that you used for the concealer i use the sponge to do my concealer so i'm gonna go in and just kind of get rid of the creasing so before setting your skin you want to make sure to do this because if you set your skin with the creasing it's going to look like this with setting powder on top and that's not what you want you definitely want to get rid of that you want the concealer to be really nice and smooth before applying the setting powder because once you apply the setting powder that's it you can't bring back the concealer you can't move the concealer so i like to do one eye at a time so using a damp beauty sponge kind of get rid of all the creasing and i'm using the black opal setting powder just because this is one of my favorites what i like to do is i like to kind of take a little bit of the setting powder on the sponge like that and on the back of my hand i'm pressing it onto my skin this kind of just gets rid of all the excess and it kind of helps spread the setting powder around so that when i press on my skin the setting powder it goes on smoothly it doesn't have too much on one area and i'm using a damp beauty sponge to set the concealer because a damp beauty sponge sets better than a dry one Boom, just like that. As you guys can see, you don't really see any creasing right there. Under my eye, no creasing. It set the concealer. Now you can see my skin looks like skin. It has a little bit of texture compared to here where it just looks oily. And you can see the creasing. You can see the makeup on top of my skin, which is not good. So I'm going to do the same thing for this eye. What I like to do is I like to use the cleanup part of the beauty blender and do the same thing. Get rid of creasing. Get a little bit of that setting powder. Put it at the back of my hand and just press the setting powder on your skin so you want to focus under your eye and on your eyelid so i'm also going to set this area right here on my chin and i'm also going to set my forehead area and then what i like to do is taking the excess of what's left on the beauty sponge i'm just going to press it around my nose area because it gets really oily and it kind of helps simmer down the nose contour to make it look very natural all right guys so that is it that's exactly how i like to use setting powders this is the reason why we use setting powders and these are all the different types of setting powders that I like to use that I would definitely recommend if you're a beginner. I hope this video was helpful for those of you guys who needed to learn about setting powders. I hope it was really informative. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my face and I'll be back with the final look. All right, guys. So this is the final look of this video. So that is it for this video. Those are all the setting powders I want to share with you guys and my technique of setting setting my skin i feel like these videos are very informative they're not meant to tell you how to do your makeup but they're just meant to kind of give you a little bit of information you know a few tips and tricks that you might or might not use you know just for people who are looking to start makeup you have like the beginners and then you have the intermediates who play around with makeup they 
know a little bit about makeup and then you have the professionals so i feel like for beginners some people don't even know what setting powders are so this is just an informative video for beginners just a tutorial on you know setting powders and how to set your skin and what setting powders are actually used for in makeup applications so i hope this video was helpful if you thought it was helpful or you enjoyed the video leave me a big thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't already done so and join the lj family hit the bell so you're always notified of a new upload but other than that i will see you guys in my next video KLJ, welcome to a channel where it's poppin you better subscribe got it on lock yeah uh, got it on lock yeah mm, we need more likes more views yeah you can leave a comment too mm, welcome to our youtube mm, welcome to our youtube